Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and in this video, I want to go over and the new layout that's been revealed or rumored by permits from Parks Fan ParkFans.net for SeaWorld San Diego's new multi-launch coaster. This coaster will be coming in 2023 or 2024, and it's replacing the Wild Arctic attraction, which is art has been closed since 2020 at SeaWorld San Diego. This um, area, actually, the coaster is in was used as a construction uh, staging area for Emperor, which is now open, the new b &M dive coaster that opened um, just a couple of months ago, or last month. That's now open, and this plot of land is now going to be used for this slightly smaller, um, but I guess less repetitive, multi-launch coaster. So, this is a coaster that will be more like a wave breaker at, a, at SeaWorld. San Antonio, which is a motorbike coaster like Tron at the Disney Parks, and of course, Waybreaker at SeaWorld San Antonio. That one's obviously themed to jet skis. You're on jet skis and you're going over the water, and it's beautiful. It's a very beautiful family coaster. This one, you'll be on snowmobiles. Um, uh, the trains will be themed to snowmobiles, and you'll be going through an Arctic environment with some cool sets and icebergs and cool things to go through. It's a smallish coaster. It will be, again, a family coaster, perfect for to balance out the newly opened thrill coaster of Emperor to SeaWorld San Diego and up SeaWorld's coaster count. It's about four or five. Let's see. There's Journey to Atlantis, which is a water coaster, the Emperor dive coaster, Mock family coaster of Mansa, and yes, this will be the fourth coaster, um, the Wild Arctic coaster. So it'll be a nice coaster count, too. Oh, an electric eel, so five coasters. We've got two family coasters and three kind of, in, well, mm, two and a half family coasters and then two intense coasters. Two and a half intense coasters. I say half because Journey to Atlantis can be intense, but it's kind of like a family coaster too. So, um, yeah, very exciting. As you can see, the red areas, uh, the one that's jutting out to the north there is uh, the maintenance bay, but the other one is the, is the break run and station area, or the break run for when it's coming back to the station goes around the curve so it starts on the bottom blue line and if you it's going to go out to its first launch first of looks like three launches and it's going to do a little twist and turns around the arctic tundra environment and um yeah the top speed i'd say there's nothing revealed yet again this park this coaster isn't even confirmed yet still in the rumor stage just permits or potential permit layouts here um the coaster is about should be i'd say no more than 50 miles per hour and probably no more than 30 to 45 feet above the ground certain sea world san diego only has can go about like 50 feet on certain sites um about four sites and the area is what the latest plan they have to get approval from the coastal commission which is why mansa has like a 42 foot drop but it goes underground. It only goes about 30 feet above the ground because 30 feet is the max of the on that site that Mance can go on. But yeah, this is pretty exciting. I'm, I'm glad that this project is back on track. There's a, a worry that it was going to be canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but I'm glad it's back on track, ready to go, and I can't wait to see this new family coaster. It should be heavily themed, um, or at least moderately themed, definitely more themed than Emperor. Family coaster open next year or in 2024 at SeaWorld San Diego. What do you guys think about this new compact layout for this wild Arctic coaster? Are you excited about another coaster coming to the park? Um, potentially coming to the park? And do you wish it was another thrill coaster? Or do you like that it's a family coaster for everyone? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, have a fantastic day. Subscribe for more theme park updates.